Check out how tiny it is and it's two wireless microphones. This bit sticks on top of your camera. Stick around. G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here and today it is about 55 degrees. Well, 54, I guess, if you look at an app and you're gonna be, gonna be sensitive about it. It's hotter than that. It's a PG channel, so we've gotta be careful what we say here. It's so hot, the chooks are laying hard boiled eggs. That's how hot it is. But I'm out here for you to talk about the microphone that I have on. So this is the audio that you're listening to on the LensGo 318C2. Thanks, Lensgo, for sending this one to me. Very impressed. How is it? Is the quality good? I could actually walk back a hundred meters from the camera and connectivity would be uninterrupted. In fact, if I were 30 meters away, which I'm about 20 meters away, but if I was 30 meters away from the camera right now, there was a bunch of stuff between, you'd still be able to pick me up quite clearly. That's the test I've done so far. And there's a little bit of wind to my back. So what I'm gonna do is you should be able to hear clearly, but I'm gonna turn into the wind right now. So I'm turning into the wind. And what's the quality of that? Is it, is it brushing up? Is it, you can, these videos are about you making a decision for yourself about what the best product is for you in these scenarios that you'll be shooting in. So I jump in here and talk to you a little bit about the wind. Yeah, there's a little bit of a breeze around. It is not blowing a gale, but it is certainly interfering with the quality of the microphone. And therefore, I would recommend that you use either on still days when there's no wind or you take it inside. It's a bit of a shame of this limitation because what would be really handy if you could just carry this around everywhere you went. What I love about this product is how small and versatile it is. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So here it is, this is the microphone. It has a magnetic back. Magnetic back slips to a clip so you can position it anywhere you like. Here is ideal and you can either clip this on the other side the magnet holds it or you can just use this clip and put it on top of your collar. Make sure that when you're doing that you don't turn it off. To turn it on and off it has one button here. You hold this button down for three seconds and it turns on the microphone. Same with the head unit and you press it for three seconds to turn it off. Afterwards if you double tap it gives you reverb. Ready? Hello my name is Ralph and this should sound exceptional. As you do this, when you double tap to go to reverb, it gives you a red and a blue light. The blue constant light means the, light, the microphone is connected. And when it's charging on the side of the unit, which we'll talk about in a second, it goes to a red light for those of you interested in lights. This is how small the unit is. I know, get out, right? It's tiny. Look at that. Fits literally in the palm of your hand. If I was a magician, it would just like, pew, and then I'd drop it and it'd be gone magic here it is <laughs> no it hasn't gone far it's okay here's the power button on top which you hold down for three seconds here's your lights of your transmitter tx1 and tx2 on this side and this side sometimes you get your microphones mixed up and this one activates this light and this light activates that on the microphone side of things this is it so this is the magnet that holds it to your shirt or to the clip on the other side here's the power button and also the reverb button that you just press and there's your indicator light your microphone is at the top so remember that when you're attaching it but it works in conjacent with the magnet really well on this side you can fit in headphones to get a good listen to what you ever is you're recording and obviously this is the clip that can clip on something or on your hot shoe on top of your camera it has a charging port at the back that comes with the charging cable in the unit and on this side is where you put in your audio out and that's the unit in its entirety folks Pretty wicked, right? Comes with this cute little pouch that holds all your accessories in from your two cables, your cable that connects the receiver to the camera and your cable that connects your receiver to the phone. And so you can use this interchangeable with your phone, either Android or Apple. You just need the connector between your phone and the cable, but it's a TRS to a TRRS that takes care of that for you. In here also, you can put your clips and your charging cable. It's kind of like a leathery feel to it rather than just synthetic and plastic, but I think it is just synthetic and plastic, but it's not, not too shabby. It can fit in your pocket nice and easy. Now charging, you get seven hours. You'll sweep by Magpie. That is the Australian Outback, folks. Takes three hours to charge the central RX unit that will give you seven hours of use. That means it will charge these up. They can be charged up so they can be used for three hours each and they get recharged when you plug it back in and they take an hour and a half to get fully charged. Light starts blinking to let you know that it needs a recharge. 
when you're charging it, it'll be a blinking red light all the way through and then a solid light at the end to say, hey, hey, hey we're charged, and that'll be on for three minutes and then it'll just go all dark. And when it's all dark, you're all ready to go. This unit is very handy and for 89 American dollars, I would highly recommend it to anyone that's looking for a really portable solution for either your phone or your camera. It's a winner and I love how they're using magnets to make this technology work. I think the magnets could be stronger so if the magnets were stronger and not to hold this to the unit, but to hold this to your clothes, I think would be ideal. I think also the clip is always positioned. So you have this jutting out point here, which in my opinion is a distraction and not made for people to wear t-shirts or even like jumpers or, or hoodies. It's more for the formal shirt wearing folk that's not me and so I think if they could make a really good clip that just clipped onto your t-shirt without mucking about uh, that would be really helpful. I think an inbuilt audio out cable that you could pull out of the unit and plug in to the camera would be just amazing. It would make this thing completely portable, especially if you had some clips on top of the actual unit where you take this off and either clip it on or secure the clips so that this could be held on the outside. I think that would be just a wonderful addition to make this audio unit, this wireless microphone system, absolutely incredible um, and something you couldn't really resist or go past. And finally, I'd like to see a USB-C charging port rather than the, what is it, HDMI mini. Uh, the reason for that is if everyone could just get on the USB-C bandwagon, just be super helpful. It would mean you wouldn't need to keep getting new charging cables and have a thousand different options. You'd just be able to have USB-C, which you know would work seamlessly with your computer, as well as other devices that you have. So that'd be just really great in terms of the development of this product. If you're keen for a lens go, <laughs> uh, head to the link in the description and we'll be able to sort you out there. It'll take you to an affiliate link and if you want to buy this through that affiliate link, it really mean a lot to me. It will help me out a little bit but cost you no extra. If you'd like to like and subscribe this video, I would strongly encourage that, especially if you've had a great time watching it or you, you might even go, I kind of like him, I kind of like hanging out with him. So come hang out with me some more and join the channel. Be stoked with that. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope this video has really helped and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.